Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Talk to Tech. Today we are going to unbox something. Before further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, today we are going to unbox the Nikon D850. subscribe my channel so you'll get the videos right into your screen and hit the bell button all right guys so this camera I purchased from JB Hi-Fi Bathus let me tell you one thing JB Hi-Fi they are best customer service I've ever seen in my life so pretty much they are pretty cooperative so I ordered out a week ago and I'll get on Friday so today the day let's take it out from the box Hello JB Hi-Fi. Alright. Here we go. That's we have the D850. Let me show you. D850. We've got some paperwork stick with that, which is say JB Hi-Fi Pro, transfer request, attention store manager, blah blah blah. Whatever. Don't need that. Anyways, that's my boy. Alright. Okay. Let's have a look closer. So let's open the box. Okay, the first thing we get here is the manual. I don't need it because I've got nothing to read about it. Second is the Nikon Australian warranty card. I recommend just fill the warranty card because if anything happened to your camera, so Australian Nikon Australian will claim this. But you just, just sign in with Nikon and uh, make your account so they, they follow you so I already had the Nikon, um, Nikon Australia account so I don't need that too so just leave the other things and check out the toy what we got in the box the camera here we will talk about better there's a USB type C cable, the power cord, yeah, power cord, the battery charger, and a couple of, couple of travel straps, and the Nikon D850 strap, and the a Nikon Nikon. ENEL 15A batteries, so they're quite new from Nikon. They're pretty good in charge. Yeah, they are something 1900 mAh battery. Okay, let's put on the side and let's see the camera. All right, here we go. So DV850 guys, I've been waiting too long. I did use D5, the Nikon flagship camera. D5 can't beat this camera, honestly. Okay, let's see. Let's remove the back screen plastic. All right, the camera announced in uh, 2017, August. And the indicative price was around 5,000 Australian dollars. And the sensor is CMOS sensor. And the resolution is 8,288 by 5,520. And got 46 effective megapixels. And uh, the aspect ratio is 3.2. The, the good thing is of the, that camera is it goes all the way down to 64 ISO which is first time the Nikon introduced in the the DSLRs 64 ISO which is the which is the massive improvement for Nikon camera and uh, let's have a look the back side the screen is tiltable it's tilting screen so it's very very good 
as I said, I use the NAC and D5 as well, but D5 doesn't have any tilting screen. So you don't need to lie down to take a wedding shots or landscape or any wildlife photography because you just, you can take a shot, whatever you want. It doesn't matter if you go high or down. So you can, you can choose whatever shot you want. And the second big change is the illuminated buttons. So if you are doing, if you're shooting at nighttime portrait or something like that, you don't even need to have a look with the torch or something because these buttons are illuminated. So let's put the battery. Goes in. I'll show you the illuminated buttons in a minute. Turn it on. Go to the live mode and hit the button here. Turn it on right side. The button gets illuminated. You can't see because it's too much light here, but it's illuminated when it's dark. All right. Let's talk about the viewfinder. It's electronic viewfinder. It's a massive viewfinder which I've ever seen in my life and it's the biggest viewfinder from Nikon in any cameras, even bigger than D5. Alright, okay, on one side we've got one XQD card, one SD card slot. So there's a XQD card from Blackson. So that the good thing is from XQD card, they are pretty fast. The fastest card in the world, XQD card. What they do, uh, let me tell you, this camera has nine, uh, seven frames per second. And if you put the battery grip from Nikon, it costs you thousand dollars extra, but it gives you two more extra frames, which makes this camera nine frames per second. So if, especially you use the XQD card, so you'll get around 9 frame per second and the buffer size is very high the buffer rate is very very high yeah I do have another SD card so I don't need it because I always shoot XQD card which is they are very faster I reckon okay the other side of camera we've got one microphone jack yeah let me show you the microphone and the headphone jack which is the normal from Nikon the other is the USB type C and we've got down here HDMI. It's a mini HDMI if you need anything to connect to your TV. So that's for that. Alrighty. So we don't have any flash. As you see that the professional cameras doesn't have the built-in flash. So you need external. I've got Nikon SB5000, so which is works really, really good with the Nikon D850. And uh, okay, let's talk about the, the buttons. We've got the lens eject button here. We have another PV button and the function button. The power on and off. We've got the ISO button. So let me show you one trick here. If you need quickly format your memory card, any of that, SD or XQD, doesn't matter. So what do you do? You see that this tiny format written here and the tiny print of the format at the back side of the screen, you know, the camera body. So what do you do? You hold and press both together and leave it for five seconds. The memory card will format and then you don't need to put it into the computer or do format from that way. So it's very quick and easy. If you've got a couple of memory cards, you can just do uh, formatting and if you have transferred into your computer, so you don't need anything to put in the computer and do it again. Anyways, so we've got menu button. We've got zoom in, zoom out button, and we have the live view here button. We've got a small jo joystick, as you can see the joystick here. We have a joystick to autofocus. All right, so let's talk about something. The camera, what it does, as I said, it's 46 effective megapixels. The number of focus points are 153 focus points, which 99 points of the cross type which is the latest processor from Nikon, XSpeed 5 processing engine in there. The fastest processor in Nikon cameras, they use the same processor for Nikon flagship camera D5, and they used same 
in the uh, Nikon D850. The D5 does have the 5, XP5 processing as well, but the camera price is a big difference, a double the difference, then D5 is $9,999 and this one is just $5,000, so half a price you get the XP5 image, the processing engine and the more megapixels and tiltable screen and it's not a comparison, it's just an inbox, just letting you some, if you want to buy a camera in future and you want to decide if you go professional cameras, DSL like D850 or D5, the flagship cameras, so let me tell you, D5 have just 20 megapixels, so they've got 46 effective megapixels. And the one thing which I like the D850 is you can record 4K HD videos, ultra HD videos in full frame. I've never seen in Nikon cameras the full frame video you can cover it, cover it the, in 4K. So video for the videographers, it's the best camera ever. The another feature from Nikon is SnapRidge. You can transfer immediately your images to your laptop, your phone via Bluetooth. So image the the snip bridge works very really fine with the Nikon, and they're quite fast Bluetooth transfer, like 4.0 Bluetooth for the Nikon D850. And uh, overall, this is good camera for fashion photographer, landscape, or wildlife photographer. My recommendation is buy that camera because it's it's better than any other cameras in the market and just launched on 2017 September August or September so it's pretty new camera and it will uh, you will you don't need any cameras within five years if you buy the D850. Alright guys off from now thanks for watching my videos please subscribe my channel talk to tech and hit the bell button so you'll get all the notification. In future I'm gonna give you a complete review of D850. I'll tell you more about the XQD cards and the lenses. And um, I've got the ASUS ZenBook Pro UX550 VE, which is Intel Core i7, the newest laptop uh, ZenBook Pro in, in, in market. So I've got complete unboxing of that as well. And I'll give the review for uh, ASUS ZenBook Pro as well. So hit the bell button and subscribe my channel and you'll get the video right into your screen. Sign off from now. Thanks for watching.